Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If your dream is to become a data scientist or a data analyst, then cracking the SQL interview round is a very important stage for attaining your dream. Myself, MLU Prasad, I am a mentor for data science and analytics. I can help you overcome this obstacle by explaining all the various questions asked in top companies uh, which are available in the LeetCode platform. All my code solutions for the questions asked in LeetCode platform are there in my GitHub repository. The link for that is available in the chart description below. In addition to that, I have segregated the channel into five playlists, namely easy, medium and hard depending upon the difficulty of the question. The premium subscription questions of LeetCode as premium playlist and I combined all the 230 questions into one single playlist as all SQL playlist. Let's see the question which we are trying to solve it today. It is type medium question number 2324 product sales analysis 4. Let's see the question in action. It is already asked in Amazon for one to two years. Okay. They are given a table which is consisting of sale ID, product ID, user and quantity. Okay. Sale ID. Okay. And they have given one more table which is consisting of product ID and price. Okay, for each price, for each product when the sale has happened, the respective price they have given here. Now, write an SQL query that reports for each uh, product ID on which the user spent the most money. In case the same money is spent on the two or more products, report all of them. Okay. Let's see the output also. Okay. If you see here, each product has the respective price. For the first row, it is product 1. So it will be price. Okay, let's take one more column. Price. Price will be 10. For 3, it will be 15. For 1, it will be 10. For 2, it is 25. For 10, for 3 it is 15, for 6, sorry for 1 it is 10, okay. So what is the total purchase he'd make for first sale ID, 100 rupees. Uh, 7 into 15, 105, 90 rupees. 6 into 25, 150 rupees. 10 into 15, 150 rupees. And 16 to 60 okay this is the total quantity into price so total sale for each sale ID now what they're asking is per each user ID and product what is the sum of sale they're asking okay let's see for the first one how many are there 101 and for sale ID one he brought 100 rupees second again 101 second row 101 for product 3 he brought 105 rupees. Similarly, for 102, he brought what? One, one minute. 102, and for product 1, he brought how much? 90 rupees. And for 102, okay, where is this one? This is also 90, okay. And for 102, Second product he brought 90 rupees. Okay. And for 103, okay, again 102 is there. For third product, how much he brought? Uh, 3 into something else, but what is that? No, it's, it's not 90, it is 6 into 25, 150 rupees. Similarly, for the customer 1023, he again brought 10 into 50, 150 rupees. Again, for the last one, he brought what? 102. Customer 1, again 60 rupees. So, these two things are same. So, let's keep it here only. Plus 60. Okay. So, now what they are asking is, for each customer, what is the top products? If you see, for 101, one product is 100, one product is 105. So for 101, 3 is the highest. Okay, let's see for 102, 90 plus 60, 150. 
150 and again 150 so these three things are highest so these three things are returned 102 1 102 2 103 3 so what we need to do we need to do in our join if you do multiplication of this one we will get sales after that group by product id and uh, user id and rank them let's see it first of all let's in join them from sales table in a join product table on a dot product id product id equal to b dot product id select all okay we got everything right now what we need to do we need to group by user id comma product id and we need to select user id comma product id comma sum of what we need to do quantity into price quantity into price okay let's call it something ss Okay, there are two product IDs so let's say a dot product ID here also a dot product ID so now we got the answer 101 similarly 105 now what we need to do for this table we need to do ranking operation with the CTS yes, this one let's do ranking from the CTE table select all comma rank over partition by user id order by product id descending comma ct2 yes now from here we want only what we do so not by product id it should be by ss okay now from this cte table where we want rank equal to one select let's say all okay it is cte2 Okay, we got the final output, but we don't want all the columns. We'll want only user ID comma product ID. Okay, let's submit it. Okay, our solution has been accepted by the platform. Thanks for watching my video. If you want more detailed explanations like this, please subscribe to my channel and share it with your friends and colleagues who are preparing for a SQL round interview for data analyst, data scientist or a business, a business analyst interview. Thanks for watching. Just keep practicing. One day you will be able to achieve any uh, goal.